Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Jason, and you're watching my channel, Micro Investor. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about publicly traded companies that probably will not survive through 2020, given the current um, economic situations that are going on. Now, this isn't meant to be any sort of financial advice if you are invested into any of these companies. Uh, this is um, my opinion, and um, I'm basing this off of where these companies were before this economic problem that we're in, as well as their, um, their last income statement and their balance sheet. So the first company I'm gonna talk about is JC Penney's, ticker symbol JCP. So if we look at uh, JC Penney's back in uh, 2016, we'll see that they're trading around nine to $10 a share. And then we fast forward to just before um, uh, these last couple of months, We'll see that uh, J.C. Penney's was trading um, at a peak of this year on January 8th at uh, for dollar twenty a share, and then now it's trading at forty five cents. So as we get into J.C. Penney's income statement, you might be aware that J.C. Penney's has been uh, closing down a good amount of their stores. They've been they're they're in a, you know financial trouble here. Um, so if we look at their net income, it's negative. $268 million. And then looking at their balance sheet, um, they have total cash $386 million and uh, total debt $4.9 million. Now with most of these JCPenney's being shut down right now, or probably all the JCPenney's shut down right now, um, there's no clear sign of what's going to happen to this company. Next is Asina Retail Group, ticker symbol ASNA. This is the company that owns Ann Taylor, Lane Bryant, Justice. They also owned Dress Barn, which they closed down all of its locations recently. So this is a company that is in pretty big trouble already. And the stock has taken a beating over the past couple months. But in reality, the company is also taking quite a beating over the last few years. And just looking at the chart here from uh, 2019 to, to now, in January 2019, uh, their market cap was at $483 million. Now, if we go to January um, of 2020, their market cap was $43.88 million. And if we go to where it's at currently, with the stock price being down so much, their market cap is sitting at $19 million. And looking at their income statement, their uh, net income was negative $803 million. And on their balance sheet, they have a total cash of $373 million and a total debt of uh, $2.11 billion. Next is Frontier Communications, uh, ticker symbol FTR. So this company is in quite a bit of trouble. They're actually just defaulted on their uh, bond payments. In Frontier's businesses, broadband, internet, TV, etc., they compete with Comcast and AT&T. And uh, if we're looking at their revenue, uh, their net income is negative uh, $5.97 billion. And if we look at their balance sheet, uh, their total cash is $683 million, and their total debt is $17.66 billion. But I mean, if we just look at the company's market cap, their market cap is $41.52 million at the moment. So this company is in quite a bit of trouble. Next is GNC Holding. You know, this was a popular uh, vitamin supplement store back in the day, but now not a whole lot of people go to it. They're mainly in malls and not a lot of people shop there um, as much as they used to. So their stock has gone down about 80% of its value over the last month, the time of filming this. And um, looking at their income statement, their net income is actually positive with uh, $42 million. But if we go to their, their balance sheet here, uh, they have total cash on hand, $121 million, and total debt, $1.33 billion. Now, the reason why um, GNC is on this list is because they do have uh, convertible notes that are um, coming up for due, and it doesn't really look like they have the money to pay for it. Um, they're saying they do, but... There's no, there's no positive, there's no for sure answer to that. And with so many of their stores closed at the moment, the odds of them being cash flow positive next time is going to be very low. And um, so it's quite possible like they won't have enough money to pay down their debts. Next is GameStop. And so to some people, this will be no surprise as GameStop has been closing down a lot of their stores. 
Um, they didn't really have a good, uh, successful um, holiday season, which has really hurt the company a lot because they're really hoping that that was going to help get them out of their, some of their troubles. Um, so looking at um, the last uh, income statement for GameStop, uh, their net income was negative $757 million. And um, their balance sheet, they got a total cash of $290 million and a total debt of $1.17 billion. Now, um, GameStop was trying to hold on and uh, remain in business uh, through through this whole economic crisis here, but they have now been told that they have to shut down. And so um, that's gonna hurt them a lot more. So we'll have to see what happens to GameStop uh, through this coming year. Next is Revlon, ticker symbol REV. A lot of people wouldn't expect to see a consumer staple like Revlon on this list, but over the last month, Revlon has lost about half their value on their stock. And um, if we look at their income statement, uh, Revlon's net income is negative 165 million on the last report, and their balance sheet is reporting uh, that they uh, their total cash is 104 million, and their total debt is 3.3 billion. So I don't expect the name Revlon to be gone. I expect uh, the company Revlon to be gone, but more than likely someone will buy the name and uh, remarket all their products. That's usually what would happen in, in a situation like this. Next is Town Sports International Holdings, ticker symbol C-L-U-B. This is a chain of uh, fitness centers, by the way. Um, so um, over the last month, their stock has gone down you know, well over half its value. Um, and if we look at the performance of this company, you know, just over the last year, I mean, we can see that they ended uh, 2018 uh, with a market cap of 174 million. But if we go to um, September 30th of 2019, their market cap was 45 million. And then if we look at it where it's sitting at currently, it's at um, about $31 million. Now looking at their income uh, statement, their uh, net income is negative 18.5 million. Now their balance sheet doesn't really have uh, any information at all that we can go off of right now. So I'd like to know what people's opinions are on the stocks that I mentioned in this video. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, is there anybody that's invested into any of these companies? So as always, everybody, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I have new videos coming out on my channel all the time. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video coming very soon.